What's up, everybody? I'm Star Lord Dance. Today, we're going to be reviving the Pokemon Wishlist series on this channel. It's been a while since I've actually done one of the videos, and over the next couple of days, I'll be doing a couple more. So please make sure to look out for them, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And uh, let's get into the video. So basically, if you guys don't know what this series is, it's basically my biggest wishes for Pokemon Brick Bronze, what I wish the developers would do for the game, and um, I don't know, I, I think a lot of you guys actually really like this series, I mean, the last two episodes that I did, it got such a great response that people wanted to see more of my opinions on what the devs could do for their, I guess, little tiny franchise, um, and yeah, today's video is going to be a randomizer mode added to Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now, um, there is a couple of things I will have to go through with this randomizer uh, being added to Pokemon Brick Bronze, if it ever did, uh, because there's a lot of things that could go wrong with it. But um, first off, I'm gonna actually give you guys an insight to what this actually is, what a randomizer mode is for Pokemon Brick Bronze. Uh, so let's say, for example, we only had Generation 1 Pokemon. Now, you wake up, you go to the professor, and uh, you know, you choose your starter Pokemon, which is either Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle. Now, in a randomizer mode for Pokemon, instead of those three different Pokemon being there, it's a completely random set of Pokemon. It's can it could be a Mew, a Mewtwo, a Caterpie, a Vanilla Ice. It could be any Pokemon out of the 600 plus Pokemon that it, there is available in the actual game world, and uh, that's what makes it so good. It's so, it's so random. It is so random. It changes up gameplay so drastically, and um, it actually allows a lot of YouTubers to kind of advertise the game a little bit better because people love love seeing randomizers for Pokemon games. They absolutely love them, and I don't blame them because, you know, once you get to Route 1, it's kind of that whole, oh my god, what Pokemon are going to be on this route? Rather than a Caterpie, it could be a Ho-Ho, or, you know, it could be something else. It could be a Delibird. Um, that's kind of what makes a Pokemon randomizer really, really appealing to people who watch YouTube videos because they're always kind of looking forward to seeing what is next in the roots and it's kind of about the surprise element I think. Now if this randomizer uh, was actually added into the game itself I feel like only the really hardcore fans of Pokemon would actually get it and understand it and want to play it because there is a lot of rules in a Nuzlocke randomizer and I just kind of feel like a lot of people wouldn't get those rules and I know certainly me, I didn't know the rules until making today's video and they'll actually be on screen for you right now, you can actually see them right now and uh, like I said there's a lot of them and I feel like a lot of people really wouldn't understand what to do with it because obviously a lot of younger people play Pokemon Brick Bronze too but I know a lot of older fans who have either watched YouTube videos on randomizers or even done them themselves will stick to these rules and um, there is also another conflicting factor of this being a actual game mode added to Pokemon Brick Bronze and that is that they wouldn't be able to ha you wouldn't able you wouldn't be able to have that is what I'm trying to say you wouldn't be able to have any online competitive battling it just wouldn't be available or trading either as far as I know because obviously you could kind of just skip the game if you were able to trade with your friends who got a Mew on you know route one then basically you know that's 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 that you know you've basically got a Mew at the very start of the game and then also the battling type you know um, obviously if somebody gets through the game and finds all legendaries on their roots and then gets to the battle coliseum and versus a guy who found what like the worst pokemons on his roots it just wouldn't be fair you know so unfortunately an online competitive scene would not be available for this game mode in pokemon brick bronze but Online would be, you know, you'd still be able to walk next to your friends and uh, walk through their route with them. I guess it would just be hard to kind of grasp that they would be encountering different Pokemon and you would be, you know, because like you'd be like, oh, come to this route. There's a Mewtwo here. But then when you get there, there's actually Caterpies, you know. Um, so I think it'd take a little bit of time for people to adjust to exactly what that game mode is. Um... But once they do that, I feel like a lot of people would have a lot of fun 
with a Nuzlocke randomizer added into Pokemon Brick Bronze. And, you know, they don't even have to add it to Pokemon Brick Bronze. They can literally just take their game and make a standalone game, removing one or two features and kind of adding onto the game itself. So, you know, there's Pokemon Brick Bronze and there's Pokemon Brick Bronze randomizer. And I feel that would be really cool. I feel like a whole lot of people would actually really love this added to the game. And uh, yeah, I really want to see your guys' opinions in the comment section below. Would you love to see a Pokemon randomizer, a uh, Pokemon Brick Bronze game mode added to Roblox? I know for a fact I would. I would definitely do a series on it. And I know for a fact that the devs could possibly make a lot more money off their franchise from this. And, uh, you know, that would be pretty cool for them. It really would. And it would make a lot of people really happy. I know that for a fact. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you liked this video, then don't forget to leave a like on it. And uh, again, tell me your opinions down below. Do you agree with me? Do you think they should have one of these into the game? Or do you think they should just stick to Pokemon itself? Uh, like I said, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya.